you are here watching. Welcome to our class. I'm your physical education teacher, Mom Cherry Ann Valentin. Before we begin, make sure that you are in a place where you are comfortable and you can watch our video lesson carefully and actively. And make sure that you have your ball pen and your module with you because it will serve as your guide. Now, bow your head and feel the presence of our Lord. in the UAE Teacher Dance Competition. You will try to guess the name of school and write your answers in any sheet of paper. I will give you two minutes to do the activity. Cheer dance. 
Cheer dance is coined from the word cheer and dance. To cheer is to shout out words or phrases that may help motivate and boost the morale of a playing team and perform better during a game. Wild dance, on the other hand, is physical activity where one expresses emotions or gestures while performing bodily movements, usually in time with rhythm. Cheerleading is the performance of a routine, usually dominated by gymnastic skills such as jumps, tumbling skills, lifts and toses, combined with shouting of cheers and yells to lead the crowd to cheer for a certain team during a game or sport. And therefore, cheer dancing rooted from cheerleading. So how did cheer dancing start? Actually, cheerleading history is linked closely to the United States history of sports. Its origin can be traced as far as the late 19th century. Where in 1800s, students from Great Britain began to cheer and chant in unison for their favorite athletes at sporting events. During 1870s, the first pep club was established at the Princeton University. During 1900s, usage of the megaphone was becoming popular. The first cheerleading fraternity was also organized at this year. Women during 1920s became active in cheerleading. The University of Minnesota cheerleaders began to incorporate gymnastics and tumbling into their cheers. In 1930s, at this year, universities and high school began performing pom-pom routines and using paper pom-poms. Lawrence Herky Herkimer is a legend and innovator in the field of cheerleading. He founded the National Cheerleaders Association at Southern Methodist University, holding cheerleading camps since 1948. His first camp drew 52 girls and one boy. In 1948, Lawrence Herkimer founded the National Cheerleaders Association or the NCA which began to hold cheer workshops. The first one was held that year. With more than 50 attendees, the number grew to 350 by the following year. And by the 1950s, most high schools had a squad. In 1988 to 1994, Cheerleading introduces to different countries such as Japan, United Kingdom, Austria, France, Canada, China, and other countries by the Universal Cheerleading Association. And lastly, during 2008, the IASF or the International All-Star Federation continued to host the World Cheerleading Championship. At this point, I am going to teach you the basic cheer dance movements. Beginning stance, feet together, hands down by the side in blades. Cheer stance, feet more than shoulder width apart, hands down by the side in blades. Clasp, feet more than shoulder width apart, hands down by the side in blades. Clap, hands in blades. At the chin, elbows in. High V. Arms extended up, forming a V. Relax the shoulders. Low V. Arms extended down, forming a V. Touch down. Arms extended straight and parallel to each other, fists facing in. Low touch down. Arms extended straight, down and parallel to each other, fists facing in. Side lunge, lead leg bent with the knee over the ankle, back leg straight, feet perpendicular to each other. Front lunge, lead leg bent with the knee over the ankle, back leg straight, feet perpendicular to each other. Bow and arrow, one arm extended to side with other arm bent at elbow in a half T motion. Overhead clasp. Arms are straight, above the head in a clasp and slightly in front of the face. Low clasp. Arms extended straight down, 
in a clasp and slightly in front of the body. Punch. One arm extended straight up, one arm on hip in a fist. Diagonal. One arm extended in a high V and the other arm extended in a low V. Left or right. Half T. Both arms parallel to the ground and bent at the elbows. Fist into shoulders. Table top. Arms bent at elbow, fist in front of shoulders. L motion. One arm extended to the side with other arm extended in a punch motion. T motion. Both arms extended straight out to the side and parallel to the ground. Relax the shoulders. Now, let's have an activity. Watch and observe the National University 2019 cheer dance and identify the following basic hand movements and positions being shown in their performance. Write it in your notebook.
knowledge in our topic. Thank you for listening actively. See you again soon on our next topic. Once again, this is your teacher Cherry. Goodbye and have a great day.